Good afternoon, YouTube. Today's video is about just how screwed, i.e. unprepared we are for this pandemic. And perhaps maybe, you know, who's responsible for that or, or, or exactly mm, how, who's how did this happen? OK, why is it that we're so unprepared? Well, let's look at the mayor of the great city of New York, Mr. Bill de Blasio. Uh, according to Mr. de Blasio, the person that we need to blame is President Trump because he's not uh, prepared. OK, uh, uh, we don't have the uh, the supplies we need. We don't need the masks, the ventilators, all this stuff. Uh, he should have seen this coming, and, and he wasn't ready for that. Okay, so that's that's the mayor's take. I'm going to have to disagree uh, with the mayor. Okay, uh, you see, uh, the reason why we don't have the masks and the ventilators uh, that we need isn't because the president was. Uh, you know, asleep at the switch back in January and, and didn't order all this stuff from Amazon like he was supposed to. Okay, you see, here's the dirty little secret that no one's talking about. Um, where is it? Here we go. We get all that stuff from China. Okay, I can't really click on this because they you know they'll just block because they want money and they the new york times is getting a penny out of me but the chinese are the factory of the world aren't they don't those reporters talk about that all time all the time and how great it is how important china is because they're uh, they're making everything <laughs> well guess what they make our masks and there are rep uh, respirators and our ventilators. By the way, respirator is a special mask and the ventilator is the machine that breathes for you. Okay? I'm only mentioning that because I, I confused me too. Okay. So the Chinese are the suppliers. And guess what? They are not supplying. Well, guess what? There aren't a lot of domestic sources for these masks. Okay? Uh, here's one. Uh, they can make 600,000 masks a day. We need 300 million. <laughs> 3M. Okay. They got 650 employees and they're working uh, seven days a week now. Okay. Yeah. So, and uh, uh, yeah, the ventilators, you know, the Chinese make those too. So we have to actually build the factories to build this stuff because the factories were moved to China, you know, a long time ago. Okay. Um, you see, back in 2002 and 2003, uh, everybody thought, when I mean everybody, I mean all the people in Wall Street, you know, the people that Mr. de Blasio hangs out with, those people, those New York people, they decided that it would be great if they outsourced all these jobs to India and China because it would make all this money. And, and they give all these reasons why this is such a wonderful idea. Oh, here we go. For every uh, dollar, okay, that we uh, lose, we get a dollar forty-seven back, right? That was the the logic back then, okay? But um, you know, uh, so that's how all the factories got moved to China twenty years ago. It's because New York Wall Street types were greedy, and have they learned? No. Look at this. January 25, 2020. How outsourcing jobs affects the U.S. economy. Here they are. Talking about how great outsourcing is. 
and how horrible Donald Trump is. <laughs> These people are idiots. All right. So, let's return to Mr. de Blasio. You worthless piece of shit. Okay. How did this guy get to be mayor? Okay. This is why I hate the Democrats, because they pull crap like this. Okay. They're blaming Donald Trump for a problem that he's been trying to solve for the last four years. This whole reason he ran for the presidency was to stop this crazy shit of sending everything to China. Okay. And they attacked him for it. And now that the chickens have come home to roost because of their policies, they're trying to shift the blame to Donald Trump. All right. So, uh, and by the way, it'll work. There's a certain percentage of idiots out there that are going to believe these guys because they see them on TV and they're wearing suits and they talk real good. But if you want to know the reason why uh, we are unprepared for this epidemic, it is because Mr. de Blasio and his friends in New York decided to move everything overseas to save a few shekels 20 years ago. Anyway, uh, remember that come November when you have a choice, okay? Uh, are you going to vote for this guy who thinks you're stupid and lies to you, blatantly lies to you? <laughs> Because he thinks that you're, you, you, you know, uh, uh, you're, you're ignorant? Or are you going to vote for the people that actually have your interests, America's interests at heart? Anyway, enough for that. Uh, have a nice day.